Hey guys, it's your girl Tiffany back with Millennial Tea. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button, take a seat, grab you a cup because you know I'm serving it hot. Hey peeps, it's your girl Tiffany. Welcome back to Millennial Tea. Tonight's tea is quite funny. Basically, Charmaine from Black Ink Chicago, she, she checks her employee and then she calls herself trying to check Ryan Henry about trying to steal her employee from her, which is Fly. So going into the story, Ryan and Fly talk. Fly tells Ryan what's up at, at Charmaine's shop and he might not have a job or he don't even want to really go back if he has to work with someone, this other guy, the other guy, you know, the one that he got into it with. And so Ryan tells him like, hey, you, you got to um, you got to. Um, you can come to Nine Mag if you want, if it don't work out over there. And so that's basically all that happens. But then Fly runs and tells Charmaine because he's afraid of how it might come back to her if she, you know, hear it from somebody else. So basically Charmaine checks him like, you know, you could have came to me first. You shouldn't have went over there running your mouth, blah, 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 blah. Then she's all pissed off. So she leaves and she pops up at Ryan's shop. And she's like, you know, acting all crazy with him. And basically, Ryan had to put it to her like, look, bitch, I know Fly. You don't. We're from Chicago. You're not. I've been knowing him since before he could even tattoo. So if I really wanted to take him, I could take him. And so she's, you know, she still tries to cuss him out and storms out. But definitely take a look at the clip and, um, Drop a comment on what you think. Um, we love Charmaine. She's so dope. And then, unfortunately, at the end, um, going into the next episode, it does show that her mom did pass away, which was, like, super shocking for everybody. So go ahead and take a look at the clip. And hopefully, I'm sending my condolences out to Charmaine and her family because her and her mom, was they had a dope relationship. But go ahead, smash that subscribe button, and take a look at the clips. He ain't invite me here today, but f invitation. I'm in this bitch. Set it back off. I told her we wanted to do Scully's and Ryan. Pets. I need to holler at you. Hello. Excuse me. I need to talk to you, like straight up. Come on, let's go talk. I'll be back. Oh, this place is real cute. Since I was banned from here, I never seen it. You ain't never banned from here. First of all, rudeness. Hello to you too. Um, hey, but I'm here because you was trying to talk to my artist about coming over here. Get him fly to come over to NIMAG. 
What is that about? First of all, I can have a conversation with whoever I want to, whenever I want to, whatever, it don't matter. Second of all, I knew flat before you even think about having a shop with your non-tattooing ass. But why are you trying to take my artist? Who Those said I'm trying to take him? How did I try to take him? I don't have to get into detail. Look around, I don't have to take Do it look like I need somebody from your All I know like is I you already up there. Listen, listen, listen. Do it look like I need somebody from you? I don't have to take nobody from you. Then what was you in his ear for? The only conversation we had was about, hey, man, I just appreciate you for leading the way for me on tattooing. I know him flashes. He couldn't tattoo for We from Chicago. You ain't. Here we go. I've been in this business, man. I know how this go. You just got in this man. You can't just let somebody come tell you something and you come running to me disrespectfully because you emotional about what somebody up and told you. Man, she can grow the up, like... Honestly, I'm not about to start some battle over some artist, you know? I don't need from you, and if they want to leave, let them leave. This ain't got to do with Fly. I don't care how long y'all might have known each other, the conversation was, why you over there, come over here. If I wanted to take him, he'd be took. You over here accusing me of some shit I did not do, but if I wanted to, I could. Just know that I've learned a lot from you over the years. I gotta worry about mother like you, okay? I don't think you know once again, in Ryan's eyes, I'm a dumbass for standing up for myself. I don't think he would ever take me seriously. If I was a 400-pound man, I bet you he wouldn't be trying to put me in my place. That's all I'm telling you. Look, I was not trying to take your artist. I knew Flat already. I can have a conversation with him. You don't want me talking to your artist now? Leave my artist alone. That's it. That's, that's fine, that. but you, you ain't got to flatter yourself with that's me that. about what you and your artist do. If that's the case, your artist then. Me too, then. And you know what, It Ryan? wasn't even like you, Ryan. I don't even know why I came. I'm done with him. For real. It's heartbreaking. And if I never see him again, I don't care. You too.